How are you guys all right? What's going on, Chaffee? I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing. I've been holding it in. I'm like, no, go, don't say it, don't say anything. Come on! <laughs> bro, we was, we, bro, we was talking about, we was talking about Brendan. Like, oh, hey, he was saying, yeah, God. why the fuck, yeah, would Brendan Rodgers leave Leicester to go to a why? club like United? He wouldn't. Why? Why would he? Give me a reason why, um, apart from the fact that you're a big club. Is that it? Is that the only reason? <laughs> <laughs> is that, the thing, the is thing, that the thing with with football now, it, that's almost a redundant conversation. As much as I said Leicester have replaced Arsenal in the big six, oh, cheers, there's always man. the I argument. No, but there's, there's 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 the argument that oh well, you know anybody can beat anybody now financially. You know Bournemouth were competing with players offered to sign someone for thirty million, like Chelsea were after Serie a couple of years ago. Yeah, he moves yeah, to yeah. Fulham, but, so it's like there's this whole conversation of you know is is the big six thing, is the bigger club thing still a factor? I think. As a brand, Manchester United are bigger than Leicester. But yeah. football's brand not brand. Win you football, football games. Football's not a brand. Yeah, you're Exa- right. Exactly. You're right. So it's it's like right now, he you're gonna have Brendan Brenda just sitting there going, I'm quite happy here. You know, he's actually building <laughs> something with consistently with Leicester. Man United, you, you go there. Right now, I look at Man United as Man United are very close to potentially going down the route that Arsenal went down or are going down. Mm. Liverpool went down in the late early tens and late noughties yeah. Leeds went out just like literally just this team which is we're still a big club look at us we're over here we're over here but mate you're intent like what are you doing what are you talking about yeah you know yeah. it's yeah. Man- Manchester United are in danger of going down that route just because fourth place is good enough for them yeah like, like almost like the, the big kid at school that used to bully everyone but all the other kids grew up and got the same size of him yeah, so yeah. Was, yeah. That's, that's, that's exactly of... what happened <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> Man used to bully everyone else and then uh, everyone else got on the protein shit. <laughs> Fuck, bro. You know, like that. That's exactly what it looks like. You know what I mean? You used to be the big guy, bro, but you had the early growth spurt. Now everyone's uh, caught up with you. You know what I mean? And that's, that's exactly what Man United are doing right now. I don't, know Leicester, I don't know what Leicester are on right now. They've clearly got some sort of gym membership, Leicester, because they're fucking mm. massive. <laughs> mm. No, nah, man. You know what? Che- um, Leic- Leicester deserve it, bro. Like, it's because- mad. It's, it's a project that's been going on for years, isn't it? Yes. And honestly, I remember when you lot were coming through the leagues. Yeah. So, like, really and truly, yeah, it shows you yeah, what happens when you've got the right kind of ownership and the right kind of, like, path, in it? Because yeah. it's, been yeah. a, it's been a steady trajectory from getting up in the Prem to cementing yourself as a regular Premier League team to then going on and then supr- su- um, surpassing everyone's expectations, winning a Premier League title. Then everyone thought, cool, Flash in the pan, but Leicester have still been there, thereabouts, yeah. No the matter who you yeah, sold, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're spot on with the ownership. Two years before we won the Premier League, they came out and uh, did a statement about wanting Champions League football in five years. That was two years before we won the Premier League. They managed to win the Premier League in two of the five years that they, you know, the target was. Look where mm. they are. They're spot on. They're spot on where they want to be. They're still growing. And look, look at it this way. You sell Harry Maguire for £80 million. I've mentioned it on the channel before. And you replace him with a training facility. And last night, you, he wouldn't get in the team for mm. Farna. Jo- he wouldn't. Johnny Evans and Soyuncu. Those three centre-backs last night, Maguire wouldn't get a sniff. Not at all. Uh, how does a how does a, a team recruit so well and replace players like that? So he would chill well with us. Uh, Just mm. Justin was he's been superb for you before he got injured. Yeah, and then chill has been good for us. Don't get me yeah. wrong, but it's like he's not the the player I saw playing against us a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but mean, that's the thing. That that's how you see. That's that's what happens though. You know, when you're not a fan of the club that you're looking at players buying, you don't watch them for 90 minutes. You only watch them on the highlights reels and the people that make these videos and make them look yeah. special. But when you actually sit at the stadium, you watch that player for 90 minutes, you know their ins and outs and you know they've got problems. Ben Chilwell has got defensive issues where he leaves his, his partners mm-hmm. in the shit. And that's yeah. time and time again he does that. Right. And you've he's been all right. He's been all right. Yeah. We've, we've yeah, not, right. He's played and we've not conceded for eleven yeah. hours. But I can watch the Godfather three and a half times. Well, listen, I can play left back for Chelsea. Your manager's <laughs> fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I swear yeah. to God, what, what is I he can on? play left back for Chelsea, bro. What You're still it? not conceding. What is he? You know on? what I mean? Like honestly, the guy's ridiculous. Yeah. If you looked at our bench yesterday against United, we had nothing to come on. Nothing to bring on whatsoever. Mm. Their bench is frightening. Their bench but, is frightening. Yeah. That, that was your undoing last year, though. That's why you didn't finish top four this oh, year. Oh, no, 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 that's not the agenda. The agenda is that Brendan's a bottle job. 
It's not about it's he... not about injuries. You can't mention injuries. It's Brendan <laughs> Brendan Rogers is a bottle job. Make oh, yeah, sure yeah, you yeah. Get yeah. Everyone, it's, everyone does it's think it's that, not injuries. Um, Brendan it's always injuries. bottles it. They're right. No, it's but not, it's not they injuries. always overlook the injuries and other things like that that happen as well, bro. Because that's what tends to happen. It's just that he doesn't have the squad depth. <laughs> So, and even that, he deals with it quite well, bro, because the injury yeah. you've had this season, you shouldn't really still be in the top four and you're going to finish in the top four this season. And you shouldn't with the injuries you've had because your injuries have been way worse than ours. Do you know Brilliant. what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, he deserves credit for that. But you know what? Yeah, he steps in, Mr. Fans... Natron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh, shit. Man's yeah. got the Randy Savage thing. I didn't even see Nacho, that. Nacho, Nacho, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's brilliant. He's brilliant. I've been slating him for weeks on end. And you know what? He's he's turned around and uh, he stepped up. He stepped up. And he, my man, my man, he's a confidence player, isn't he? Kilachi and Nacho is a beautiful, beautiful human being. He's Nigerian okay. prince. Nigerian <laughs> prince. <laughs> he's, 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 what a player, bro. Do you oh, know what mate, I'm saying? He's, he's doing... He's, he's, do you remember when he was at City? Yeah. He was just starting out and he was balling. And everyone was like, oh, yeah, like, he's going to replace Sergio Aguero. Get sold to Leicester. And everyone was like, That's a really good buy disappears for two years yeah. and then now he's like cool i'm here let's go Jamie, yeah. Jamie yeah. Vardy, you're 34 yeah. don't worry mate i've got it covered yeah. go to your old person's home yeah. i've got i've got you don't worry so i mate like, fair play to him fair I play like to him. especially I, I i even i shed a tear after that sheffield united post-match interview yeah yeah i was sat there going that's that was that was that was really cute. I was like, oh, it's class, really isn't it? Nice. Class. And he's only twenty four, boys. Only twenty four. Hey, it seems like, like he's been around. Like forever. He's been around for ages because he broke yeah. for at City very young. Twenty mm. was it? Two thousand fifteen in Man City, wasn't he? Yes, it was. It was the season we won the league. He broke through. I remember because my friend was he's a he was a big City fan. Um, always used to bang on about him in French class. Like every mm. single translation he would do, right at GCSE French. Just for a piss that would usually involve Kalechi and Acho. Wow. It was a nightmare. But it's he's he's like J'adore Kalechi and Acho. So, okay, cool. It's like he mate, yeah. Fair play to him. But it's the fact you I mean, lesser. He's rock, a good no, player. It's just that he's been a bit erratic, innit? You don't yeah. you bit hit and miss. But Brendan's come out and said, you know what, he plays better in it with a partner. He plays better in a two. So he's he does. So he's changed the done. formation yeah. to suit that. And that's that's brilliant from the manager. Like this guy saying Brendan Rogers is criminally underrated is because he seems like he likes himself so much. Yeah, bruv, Brendan's very arrogant, you can tell, but he's got a right to be because he's a fucking good manager. And the Mate. thing is, yeah, if he wasn't British, yeah, they would like him, bro. Because, mm. you know what I mean? Look how fucking arrogant Mourinho was when he came here. And everyone kind of, they liked it. Do you know what I mean? But in England, there's this thing here where you got to do this fake humble shit, bro. And it's dead, bro. Like, if you're good at something, you're allowed to just be like, yo, I'm good. There's nothing wrong with it, innit? In this country, yeah, they want you to be all fake humble and, like, put it down to the players all the time and all of that. No, sometimes it's just, yo, I'm better than this guy. Give me my respect in it. And Brendan, like Brendan knows that he's a top coach, bro. Like he knows it. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think he's better with the uh the, the youth uh, side of, of of the game than he is signing mm -hmm. players. From what I've spoke to from like ex, you know, like Liverpool fans and stuff uh, when he was mm -hmm. the manager there, same sort of thing. He's he's signing sometimes a bit odd, but uh mm -hmm. he's definitely very good with the youth. So I don't think he has a too much to do with the signings at, at our club. I think that's dealt with elsewhere. And, yeah, and go, going back to the original point we were making before you came on, Lee, that 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 is the prime point of why Manchester United would fucking ruin him because he, he he's he, like you said he's great with the youth. Obviously, he started out at Chelsea as the under 18s coach. Mm. Was it when Chelsea went Reading, Swansea, Liverpool? Obviously, Celtic now Leicester. I don't know why I was gradually getting behind my head like that. It's a bit weird. It's <laughs> uh, going this this way now, but um, he's he's done all of this. And now it's just a case of okay, he's he's at a club now where he fits the mold, and I think that's the most important thing. You need to find someone who fits the mold of the club. Yeah, the he's, problem is yeah, yeah. he's he's like you said, he's progressive. You know, with the youth players, he he puts them, makes them better and better and better and better. He makes the team better and better and better and better. Mm -hmm. He goes to Manchester United, they'll go, oh, you know, you get the top four. Don't worry about it, lads. It's all right. Don't worry. Man, the, the, the ideal manager for Manchester United from a fan's perspective and from the club's perspective are two different things. And that's the problem with that club. But that's why Leicester suits um, suits uh, Brendan Rodgers so well, 
That's why Tuchel, I think, is doing quite well at Chelsea because he he understood he's on an 18th month contract because he knew he might not be able to stay for as long as he wants to. Yeah, mm. yeah. But he fits the mould of what Chelsea want right now in terms of what we're looking to do. Whether or not he lasts six months into next season, we'll see. Um, mm. But it's every the, the good managers form the good relationships with the club to progress them. Manchester United don't care about that. The Glazers oh. just want to lie in their pockets. Yeah, but that's it. That's all it comes down to. And if you look at Leicester, Leicester and Brendan are a match made in heaven, bro. Two kind of underdog, two yeah. underdogs together. You know the ones. No matter how well Leicester do, people always overlook them. And it's the same with their manager. No matter how well he does, he gets overlooked. You know them ones. And, and it's one of them things where if I'm the manager, I'm using that, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm using that. Everyone in playing for me is going to have a chip on their shoulder. Be like, look, we're beating everyone and they still think that we're shit. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and, and it's yeah. the best way to motivate your players sometimes because these men have been written off. Even, bruv, even yesterday, I was like, top four. I'm trying to see who's close to Leicester. You know, like that. Because I'm thinking out of everyone in there, you think, cool, United, City, Chelsea. And it's like, bruv, Leicester are there, bruv. Like, yeah. Leicester are fully there. Like, do you know what I mean? And everyone's thinking, you know what? Maybe Spurs can catch Leicester or maybe... Nah, bruv. <laughs> Let's not go and clear with these guys, bro. I, I would argue the top four is settled. I, yeah, I would say the top four now, settled. how it is, is how it's going to finish. Maybe not in that order, Yeah, but Leicester, Chelsea, Man United and Man City are finishing in the top four. It just depends on what order. And they beat us yesterday without Madders as well. Do you know what I mean? There's a few men that weren't there. If Madders was there, it could have been worse because our midfield got overran, bro. Mm. Yeah, I said that from the start yesterday when I looked at your lineup and I thought, oh, I really fancy Ndidi and Tielemans to run the show. And they did. Mm. They completely ran the show yesterday in the middle. Mm. Um, I think they're a very good partnership. I got asked, would you prefer Kante and Drinkwater or Ndidi and, yeah, and, and Tielemans as a partnership? And I'm like, yeah, but they won the Premier League. That's so what? The, that's the thing. I think you'd want a combination, wouldn't you? You would take nah, Tielemans you, and Kante. You would, you would want in, you would want Ndidi and Tielemans now because oh right right do you know now what I mean because right now prime Kante yeah you're taking him but right mm. now Ndidi's outperforming him and Ndidi's outperforming every holding midfielder in the league like comfortably you know? he's, he's really fucking ridiculous do you I know, know what I mean got, I, I know I got laughed there's at, this like, myth that he's not good on the ball. Three years ago, I got laughed at for saying this. I said that NDD will be the most wanted uh, CDM in Europe within the next two years. And mm. I got laughed at. This was on a United channel. I won't tell you who it is. Mm. I, I got laughed at by two guys. And I just stood there and took it. And I said, you know what? We'll see. We'll fucking see. Three years later, where are we at? So it was it was a year late, but you're right. He got there eventually. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> No, no, he's only quality, joking, bro. Man. And only there's only this joking. myth that he's not good on the yeah. ball. Yesterday, yeah, no. he absolutely bossed it, man. He's a good player. He's a yeah, good he's player. Proper. Wasn't he played? He played further forward for a bit as well, didn't he? He can do, but he's not got the best shot on him anyway. He hasn't got the best shot on him, but everything in between the two boxes, bro, he's tidy. That's all you need to be. It's just yeah. tidy. When you're yeah. a ball-winning player, you just have to be yeah. tidy. You need to know your role. You need yeah. to, sh you know, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, hundred percent. And big up on the ten k Lee as well, bro. Yeah, because yeah, it, yeah, it, it weren't too long ago. Man, man was I'm saying, right, yeah, I need six k to be the biggest Leicester channel. Man's past ten k, grinding, grinding. That's, That's it. it. Great job. Well done. No, I'm saying, fucking top job, man. Do you know what I mean, shout out everyone inside. Do you know, what I'm saying, I mean, over oh, right, at one point two here, and we're still people still coming in. And so yeah, you... but Leicester, Leicester deserve everything. Yeah, man. Definitely. Everything that they that that they're getting at the moment, bruv. And teams as people are still overlooking Leicester as it stands right now. Do you know what I mean? Leicester are the new Arsenal in terms of top four. Yeah, you know so, them ones there. Yeah. I'm gonna try and call this on this show, and we'll go back in three years time and see if I'm right again. <laughs> so um, four. You, yeah, 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 <laughs> four. You boys, um, yeah, obviously, man. This is a Man United channel, technically. Uh, Nanny, you consider him a legend at the club. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't say so. I think. Cult, I think he's stated. one of them cult cult heroes, yeah, okay, isn't it? Okay. Well, his uh, his cousin is at our our club. He's only nineteen years old. Mm. Sidney Tavares. Okay. He's going to be sick. He's, he's he's coming through slowly but surely. I promise you this. Mm. He's mustard. He's mustard. I believe you, bro. I believe you. I believe. Brendan you. Rogers is still there in two to three years. That player will probably come through then if that's the case. Mm. If it's somebody else, 
who doesn't quite fit the mold, much like Claude Puel, just eh, wasn't the right guy. Yeah, yeah. It might not work out. Yeah, it I mean, might not miss, work. Miss the intensity. We lose a little bit of quality, a little bit of intensity. Jimmy Vardy, fucking knob. Go away. Couldn't stand him. Skyways football. Oh, it was dead. Dead football. Absolutely dead. There was no, there was nothing on the club here. I'm so glad he's gone. So that's glad what I'm gone. saying, bro. And look, this comment here. Look, look at that, bro. You no, know I'm saying it's a joke. 350k for Morris. Yeah. yeah. 300. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, did you get Billy Gilmore Man, for like 50 Man United, Man United have spent about a billion pounds since Alex Ferguson left. I think we've probably reeled in about a billion pounds. And tried. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Man, on a level, we spent 40 something million on Amad, oh. yeah, and you lot got Mares for 350k. That's the difference between Manchester United and other clubs, bro. Like, people say, oh, the United tax and all that. There's no United tax, we're just poorly run, bro. I, th I that's think all a, I think it is. It's a combination. I think there is. Just Bruv, it's not like a combination, bro. Because listen, yeah, like if you go to a club, if you go to a club in the second division in France, they can't say to you 50 million. They can't say that. Mm, well, no, I but know. you're not you're not shopping in the you're, 50. For, I mean, for, I think if it's it's all what's the word? It's it's all I said I've forgotten the word. Ignore no, me, carry on. No, no, I know, I know what you're trying to say. Yeah, I know what you're yeah. trying to say, but my point is, yeah. It's subjective, I think. Mares cost 350k. If Manchester United came in, yeah, they wouldn't million. have had to pay 10 million for him. They wouldn't no, no. have. No, but you know, you know I'm, I'm not saying you would have to pay for 10 million, but if you, if unless the guy in the, when they're in the championship, was it when you're in the championship, was it League One? Yeah, championship. So in the championship, when that guy will sign you for 350k, that club's not going to... Le Havre aren't going to sit there and be like, oh, yeah, cool, you're championship. You're <laughs> no, but, no, but it's Man United. No, United. Be like, no, championship <laughs> sides have more than... A, bruv, they spend more than a million pounds on players. Yeah, no, 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 I know. But this <laughs> is what funny. You want to say something funny about Mares signing for the yeah. club? You want to know something funny? He didn't even know Leicester City was a football club. He thought it was a rugby team. <laughs> This is what I mean. This is what, what I mean. Manchester rugby. United come calling. The other are going to be quoting you like, oh, 1.2. Exactly. Because you're Manchester United. Exactly. Yeah, but bro, your badge, bro, bro, your badge, bro, your badge but 1.2 million, million is your badge fucking has got cash notes on it. Your badge should be green. But bro, 1.2 million dollars. still is nothing, bro. It's not 40. No, no, I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's not, not 40. Saying. So my point is, saying. yeah, my point is this Man United tax thing, they're going on like, man, add an extra fucking... 50 million on it, but they don't in it. Like, if you no. find a player that's worth 20 million, we might have to pay 25, but it's only 5 million, bro. That 5 million is nothing to us, bro. If we no, went in for Mares, he wouldn't have cost man 40 M's. That's what I'm saying. No, the fact yeah, is, no, no, no. we're going saying... in for dumb ballers, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I was saying just in general, but I think we're saying, I hear same. what you're saying, but <laughs> no, there's no man. This tax thing doesn't exist, bro. If you're a Premier League team, people know you have money, period. Yeah. It's not because we're Man United. Mm. You, you see what I'm saying? It's not because yeah, we're Man United. It's, it's, it's the, Liverpool it's the... sold Rian Brewster, yeah, for like 20 million. You know, and it's a Liverpool football club. If we tried to sell a player as shit as him, we wouldn't get 20 million. You know why? Because we got shit people at our club trying to sell players. It, bruv, Chelsea sold Morata for 50 million. I mean, I think, yeah, I think when it comes to business and getting rid of shite... We make think, a loss on all of our players, yeah. bro. Chelsea <laughs> and Leicester are, are, like, up here. I think yeah. I think it's, I think that's fair to say. But Mate, you know what we, it is? It's because we overpay on wages, so it's harder to get rid of players. That's not Man United tax. It's being run like a twat. It was that's, piano, that's what it is. Piano signing. Yeah, bro, all of them. It's hard to get rid of players on big wages. <laughs> so then you have to take a less transfer free to get rid of players on big wages. So it's not no Man United tax. It's because you're run like a fucking circus, bro. What's going to be funny It's when Pogba and David De Gea both go on freeze. That's going to be hilarious. Bruv, it's mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad, you know. You know oh. what I'm saying? Uh, and, and that's just what it is, bro. Like, Man United have made losses on nearly all of the players that they've, they've sold, bro. Everyone. We made a loss on Di Maria the next year. I think Lukaku, we made a loss because we signed him for, for up to 90 million. And we let Everton have Wayne Rooney as well. You know what I'm saying? And then we sold him for like 75. <sighs> so we lost 15 million on Lukaku. <laughs> Daily Brind, well, Memphis, the... all these guys went for yeah, undisclosed yeah. fees. So that means they went for like five pounds, bro. Foxes never quit.